David Durang here, No Frontier, hitting the streets again, just left the hotel. So I want to answer this for some people to have, that might have a question. What makes a good solo traveler? I think you have to be flexible and very confident because you're in other people's country, right? No one knows who I am. Um, there's all different type of people. And so how do you... How do you move around without any issue? I know a lot of times people will say be safe. Um, to me, that only translates to um, me being street smart and keeping my eyes open and just seeing, you know, what's what's going on. But after that, you can't. You can only control so much. But you know, like having your phone recording late at night. You know, just feel the energy of the location you're at to see if you should even be doing it. I feel a good energy here, so I'm doing it. And so that's it. So it's just like simple things. I feel like I've been around here before when I came five years ago or so, maybe a little longer. I really feel like I've been over here. I feel like I stayed up the road. But uh, so... That's some of the things that, and also acting like <clears throat> you have a sense of purpose. Like, if you don't know where you're going, still walk somewhat fast. So it gives the appearance that you do know what you're doing. I've been around here before. Wow. Yes. So you have the appearance of knowing where you're going. Yeah, I had to meet my boy up the road. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, it was more, I think it was more than, yeah, it was about five years ago. So. Yeah. It's the currency exchange place. It was a bank too, currency exchange. Somewhere around here. Yes, it was over here. Wow, I found where I was at before. The bank was, if it's there, the bank was right there. I knew it. Yes. I met my boy around there. Wow, I made it back. Because I was up the road, I said, wow, this looks familiar. And the train is not too far, and yes. Wow, I made it back. That is crazy. Anyway, this is the city center. I went to Eurobank. I don't know if it was that name before, but I went over there. I was looking, oh yes, it was up that road. Wow, it's coming back to me. Everywhere I've traveled, I can somewhat remember the area, no matter how long ago it was. Like, because I have, it's just how I, like you see how I'm walking? I could walk for a couple hours and make it back to my hotel without using a GPS. As I mentioned to you guys, it's because, like let's say I decide to walk straight and then I turn for some reason, I'm looking at a building or something that intrigued me about said street and then I select, you know, how I'm gonna turn it or whatever. That's how I remember how to get back and just backtrack. So yeah, this is exactly where it was. And over here, hold on, let me see if I get it right. Right under there, there were some um, tour bus tour companies. Yeah, around this area. Yeah, I'm, I met my boy around here and onward and onwards. Yeah, it was right around here, it's crazy. Anyway, so I hope I helped you guys a little bit. I'll show you more of Athens. I turned off the camera, but just to show you I'm not lying about, I'm, about uh, the memory of the location. You see this? Like the tourist bus groups? Yeah, it was here. I, I'm trying to remember, I did walk, and see, here's another one. This is the exact area I was in. So more tourist companies. This is where I passed. And then I swooped around that way. And there was a train station down that way. I took the train before. I forgot why exactly I was going in those places. 
maybe just to ask about how much would it be to to actually go to those places I mean to actually use their services I don't remember 100% about that one but I do remember going that way because oh my bus initially dropped me off that way and I was trying to figure it out yes my bus dropped me off over there so that's why I'm headed to see if the company's still there when I came to Greece that time I was coming from other countries so I started I started in Central Europe and I was going to every country I you know working my way to this point and I took the bus it stopped me over there so prior to today and prior to like five years ago I didn't fly into the airport I came via coach and then when I ended up in Bulgaria with my boy because we, we took a bus from here to Bulgaria I wound up taking a, a plane from Bulgaria to Rome I believe and so that's how I never entered in the airport in Athens nice airport free Wi-Fi more places yeah the bus dropped me off across the street and see we came from wait let me see that's Greece Tirani yeah we can see that's um Albania so when, when I took a bus it was I was definitely in Albania and worked my way to this area. Yeah, Tirani. Um, that's in Albania. And uh, beautiful border between the two countries. I don't remember this food stuff being open like this. That I don't remember. But I was in this exact location. I'm sure I have the footage. And over there is where the bus dropped us off that time. And it's, if you can see right here, I'm approaching it, the subway station. Yo, there's a lot of stuff around here, more so than when I came through. It was the morning time, so that may have something to do with it. See Athens to Turani, so Athens to, um, I just said it, Albania and back. So there's a bunch of bunch of companies that go to the nearby countries. Hope I said that right. A, bu a bunch of bus companies that go to the nearby uh, countries and cities. Yes, right here across the street. And then my, that was my bus station. That was the bus station. And then I was trying to figure it out of where to where to go. And I just passed it, but just to show you, let me backtrack a second. The map right here. That's the subway. I actually took the subway that time. Yeah, it was morning, so it's way more stuff. See, I was I was on point earlier. I was like, wow, this looks familiar. The place that we stayed in. Yeah. Let's put up. Sorry for the ground. Way more stuff. And I would say it cost about 20 pounds, maybe 25 pounds to get here, to drop us over here and across the street. There's really, after I passed this block, there's really nothing. I didn't go that way too far. I came right back. And I think my biggest situation, my biggest challenge that day was trying to change money. Oh, 
that's the company, yes. That's the company right there. I gotta find the footage. Gotta find the footage. Let me go down a little bit because when I came early, a lot of these places weren't open. And I know that because even if I didn't have money, I would use my credit card to actually order. It was that early, so nothing was open. So yeah. Wow, that feels good to, to return to a country for a second time and to, and to see something familiar. That's dope. You're in a foreign country, but you come back and you see something familiar. Very, very dope. Let me walk a little bit since since I kind of found look like a police station since I kind of found uh, where was that? Oh, see something familiar? Brooklyn Way. Ah, good old Brooklyn. The name lives everywhere. Let me see how let me see how far I went before I stopped. There we go. Got some souvenirs here. Some magnets. I have to get a magnet. Some souvenirs over here. I have zero space available in my... Um, I have zero space available in my bag. But I think I might buy one of these smaller ones. Just because I bought the little statue. Or something like this. Maybe a head or something. I can easily fit that in my pocket or something. What is that? Five, four euro. I'm gonna buy one of those. Is it? Uh, is an owl right there? I'm gonna buy one of those. Oh wow! Look at this. And I'm I'm gonna buy it just because I bought the other larger statue when I was in Turkey. So I'm gonna buy one of these as well because I can always put it on my desk, my new desk that I'll have in a few months when it's time, you know, the desk I'll be shooting from, it'll be nice to have this on there. So let me walk a little bit and then I'll return and buy it. So this way I don't have to walk back here again. It'll be cool if I can get it for like three euro, something to put on the desk that street down here all right cool so guys this is the street right here there's the traffic i'm not gonna bore you but i'm just gonna walk a little bit and then turn right back because it looks like there's not much i'm not gonna bore you with the area